Hey guys, it's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today we've got our Galaxy S2. Uh, this is the AT&T version, and we're going to take a look at a new ROM, uh, actually a KitKat ROM 4.4.4, which is really cool to see on this older device. So uh, hang out, we'll be right back, and I'll show it to you. So this is the neat ROM version 7.0 for the Galaxy S2. As I said, this is the AT&T version. This is a pure AOSP and latest version of Android, Android 4.4.4. So that's pretty awesome. As always guys, first things first, we gotta give thanks to the gentleman that brought it to our device. His name is Sale, S-A-L-E. A big thanks to him. Be sure to check out the description down below for a link to where you can find this ROM over on XDA. While you're there, be sure to hit that thanks button to let these guys know how much we appreciate all their hard work. We'll go ahead and fire this up. So we can check out the boot animation. Now while this is firing up guys, this has a ton of features. So check it out guys, here is the list of features on the thread page. Yeah, look at that. That's incredible. And I like down here at the bottom, I probably forgot something. So this might not even be the complete list of features. So definitely get on here guys and check this out. It looks like the last time this ROM was updated was August 5th which today is August 11th, so less than a week ago. So that shows that the development on this ROM is ongoing and up to date, which is really awesome. So we definitely won't be able to cover all of these features, but it's AOSP, it says it's been compiled from the latest SlimCat ROMs and includes a lot of customization options, lots of tweaks and hacks to improve performance and all that. You definitely want to check out the thread for the full list. Got your camera does work. So it comes with two launchers. You've got the Google launcher as well as the Nova launcher. We'll go into the Google one because we all know what Nova looks like. And slide to the left there to jump into Google Now. Get rid of my notifications there. So there you go, 4.4.4. Now one thing to note about this ROM is the capacitive buttons don't all work at the bottom there. Uh, the search button doesn't do anything, the back button doesn't do anything. The home button actually works as your back button. So if you press the home button it'll go back. You can set it up, which I recommend doing in the uh, settings menu here in the customization options. You can set up the hardware keys, which are the capacitive buttons down at the bottom. And I would recommend setting the home button. A long press functions as the home button. So tapping it once functions as the back button. Long pressing it functions as the home button. And that works really well doing that. So now we'll check out the customization options. Go into interface here. So here we can start to customize this ROM the way we want it. Um, you can change the battery style, what the icon looks like, whether it shows percentage or not. Uh, you can play around with the notification drawer as well as the quick settings panel. Changing a lot of options in there, background color, that sort of thing. Status bar, uh, you can adjust where the clock is, what the clock, uh, the color, if it displays the date, as well as the network signal.
Check out the notification. Lots of things to do in here. Now here is navigation. This is where you can adjust the buttons, hardware buttons. So here's the hardware buttons. You can adjust which buttons do what, um, assign different actions to the buttons. Navigation is the uh, software buttons at the bottom. So if you want to turn on the on-screen buttons, you could do that. Then it also comes with Pi Control. Uh, it's called Slim Pi in here because, as I said before, it's based off the Slim ROMs. So, lots of uh, customization options. You also have the dark theme you can turn on as well. Slim Center here has uh, got some, some cool stuff to check out. If I can tap on it. Root required. This one's a performance, yeah, so you want to be careful in, in altering a lot of these things. Make sure to read before you do too much in there. But that's it guys, this is, everything works really really well in here. As I said, the uh, buttons, hardware buttons is the only little bit of an obstacle, but you can remap those buttons to uh, solve that problem, or you could put the on-screen soft key buttons, and that would also take care of the issue. But everything works really well. It's, it's been uh, it's responsive, battery life has been good. haven't really had any problems at all. So definitely check this out guys. If you have one of these older devices like the S2 here and you're wanting to try out some KitKat, this might be a great uh, ROM for you to tr try and throw it on there and see how it goes. But thank you very much for watching guys. This is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Once again, check out the description down below for a link to where you can find this over on XDA. But I appreciate you checking out the video. Please hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.